What's up, my people? It's Slim Cutter. Stay Fresh MVP. I'm back. I know I've been telling y'all, man, I was going to drop a video after we got back from our trips and things. Uh, so here y'all go. I've been telling a couple of my homeboys on Instagram, I'm like, man, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it tonight. And I never did it, so... Uh, I put some stuff together. Some stuff I got off eBay. I got. I'm gonna show y'all a couple pair of shoes. Um, this eBay stuff right here. This is stuff that I got on vacation and a couple things that I've had in my closet. Uh, it's not much. I just put together a little video. Something simple, real quick that I can do. Um, so uh, yeah. Oh, first let me. I'm gonna give y'all a good seller from where I got these brand new tags. These polo shirts. Get a pin. Get a pin. Or grab your phone, hit memo. Um, I got these two from Doug's too. This seller, he sells uh, mainly polo. He has some vintage pieces like uh, polo custom fit shirts that you will never be able to find ever in your life. Uh, his name is Doug's underscore designer underscore deals. So that's Doug's designer deals. Doug's underscore designer underscore deals. I got these two vintage too, but I um I'm gonna keep this seller. I'm gonna, cause there's some few pieces on there that I'm gonna get. But first, uh, okay, so I'm gonna start over here with uh a couple pieces that I picked up while I was out of town. Let's not let's talk about the vacation first. How about that, man? We went to, up to a place in the mountains. It's called Pigeon Forge. We went up into the mountains and um. You know, the thing about white people is like white people is born with the instinct to do extreme crazy shit. Like my wife. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my wife white. And uh I, I'm in the simple shit. Like I was like, how about we just go go-kart racing and uh, uh stroll downtown under the moonlight? Shit like that. She sees some shit in the brochures. If they had a zip cord, like a zip line. It was like 200 feet in the air over the woods. It went from point A, a mile and a half down to point B. It was white dudes on the zip line hanging upside down and shit like, Ooh, Mountain Dew! I was like, you want me to do that? Hell no! She's like, yeah, come on, why not? Listen, I'm not with none of that shit. Then she seen some other shit in the brochure. It was like um, an ATV through the woods. With a tour guide or whatever. And we were going to do that until some white people came. They was getting off the ATVs. And they were like, did you see those big black bears, Billy? Yeah, they were great. I was like, black ba black bears? Black bears? Nah. That's not going over well with me. So I didn't get on the ATVs. I wasn't trying to see no big ass black bears. Um, the next shit she seen in the brochure was uh, white water rafting in a kayak. I said, was it a canoe? No, a kayak. This is just where you in it with your body. Like, a kayak is where you put your legs in it, I think. That's the one. Yeah. So, anyway, she, she was like, you want to go whitewater rafting? If I didn't want to go zip lining or paragliding or fucking any of that ATV through the woods with the black bears, why would I want to go? Listen, I told her. This is what I told my wife. I don't want to be the first nigga to die in a kayak in history. I can see that shit on the news right now. First black man on breaking news, Channel 7. First black man ever in history to die in a kayaking accident. His kayak flipped over and he drowned. Uh, you got all the other black people eating chicken on the couch watching the news laughing at my ass. This stupid ass nigga. Look at this stupid ass on the news. He died in a kayak. What made him do that? Hell no. That's the shit I think about. Like when she said, "You want to go white rider rafting?" I thought about that whole fucking scenario. I was like, "Oh no, I'm all right. I don't want to be the first black man to die from a kayaking accident." So anyway, we just ended up doing like normal shit, like go kart racing. Uh, we rode on the Ferris wheel. Uh, we got on the carousel, miniature golf, little pool, shit like that. Normal. That's what I'm with. Anyway, then we went somewhere else, and then this August, we about to go on another little trip, man. Because that's what we like to do. Anyway, so let's get into this review. Uh, What I want to start with. 
let's start with this stuff right here. I just picked up a few while we was out of town. I picked up some few Nike shirts from um, the Nike outlet. They were all on sale. They was having like a 40% off sale. Like y'all know me. I'm all about being fresh for the low. I bought it for the low, low. So I got this purple one. It's just a Nike shirt. It was five bucks. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna wear that. With. I got the Barclays. I got a couple pair of purple shoes. I don't know what I'm gonna wear that with. Maybe the eggplants. I got this for the Kobe's. The pers uh, the perspectives. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna rock that with this. This shirt was five bucks. It's nice. Um, I got this shirt from the Nike outlet also. In all, I pay like sixteen dollars for three shirts. I got this one thinking it was going to go with the perspectives. I mean, it, it does. It's all right. It's just that should have been Volt instead of that, like, um, sea green. But they're all nice shirts. So those three shirts was good pickups from the Nike outlet. I won with that deal. Um, uh, on a lighter side, this is some stuff that's been in my closet that I pulled out. I found a few pieces in my closet that I forgot I had that I never wore. I wore this shirt a few times though. This is a LRG Henley. It's dope. I got this from drjays.com. They got some nice clothes on there. If you like LRG stuff like this. Dr. J's also has a um a premium store where they sell like Truy, Balenciaga's, Versace collection. They sell stuff like that. But this is a, a LRG Henley. It was only like 20 bucks. It's nice. Got the little green giraffe right there. Good quality shirt, LRG right there. I like LRG. Um, this is a shirt I've wore like maybe once. It's LRG. I got some shorts. It's like brand new. All it's like it's still like crispy, crispy. It's LRG up there on the neck. It has the um, LRG panda print. See that? Um, I paid like 15 bucks for this shirt. I think I got it from Macy's back in the day. I don't know. But I'm about to wear all of this. I forgot I had this stuff in there. Um, this is a shirt that I never wore. I haven't wore the majority of the clothes I got, man. Um, this is Starlin Dean. I, I did a review on the Starlin Dean stuff on that Yale jacket. Um, Starlin Dean is basically the equivalent to Mitchell and S. Um, they make pretty dope clothes. This is the only Starlin Dean shirt that I have, though. It has... Um, the letters are embroidered in, like stitched in, with the velveteen around here. It's nice. This shirt was like on sale for like ten bucks. Um, I'm glad I got this because now I'm gonna rock it. I'm gonna go get some like baby blue. I mean, not baby blue, some royal blue chucks, the low top chucks, and uh, I'm gonna do it like that. It's a dope shirt though. Um, this shirt I got off eBay. It's Jimi Hendrix uh, brand. I like Jimi Hendrix. And in my opinion, that movie that they made about him, it was some bullshit, but that's how they depict people when they do movies. All these movies aren't um, truly about what's really what it's supposed to be about. I'm not going to get into all of that, though, but Jimi Hendrix brand, it's a, um, it's a nice shirt. It's a nice soft cotton. It has like. This is what really caught my eyes. It's like the autos, the Buddhas, and the Indians. I don't know if these are supposed to be gods or what, but and then Jimi Hendrix in the middle. That's dope, man. I like that. That's why I got that. It caught my own e bell. I was like, ooh, that's dope. Throw it on with some truly shorts. I'm good. Um I had these. I got these from uh the seller is uh Wonderful Bobo. I got these brand new tags for 75 bucks. He wanted a hundred. He gave them to me for 75. They Ricky Straits with flaps. Um, they distressed. Let me stretch them out for y'all. Got the distressing in them on both legs. Brand new. I never wore them yet. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna be able to wear them. It has the traditional old school. They are 100% cotton. They have the traditional old school tags like I like. That's what I look for when I'm on eBay. It's a lot of dudes, like, a lot of my homies on Instagram still, like, I don't buy none of my truth from eBay. And I don't know why, like, SOD2, when he told me that, like, he would rather go to wherever and get the stretchy one, so. But, like, look, y'all, I don't have a problem, like, a lot of y'all do anyway. 
if y'all on eBay, especially the people that's new to eBay, if y'all on eBay and y'all um don't know if something is real or not, send me a picture of it and I'll let y'all know. I saved a few people already. Some dude sent me a picture of some fake super tees. I saved his ass. Another dude sent me a picture of a fake True Religion jacket. I saved his ass. So, you know what I'm saying? I already get 50 DMs, 100 DMs talking about hook me up with your sellers and all kind of other stuff. So, uh, if you're on eBay and you're not sure about the truth, send me a picture. I'll let you know. I ain't got no problem with that. Y'all good with me, man. Um, I got these. These are Levi's. I usually don't go for a, a type of print like this. Like this tropical kind of print. But um, I usually just go for the camo if I'm going to do something like this. But they okay. They caught my eye and it was only like 15, 20 bucks. They're Levi's. I haven't worn them yet. Um, and that's the cargoes. And they alright. There's some kick arounds. I'm going to put together like a little Truy shirt with them something like that I don't know they all right though these are the shorts that went with that LRG shirt the camo panda print um yeah I think I wore that outfit like once it has like the red in them uh the pandas all over the camo print they all right but that's us all this to these I got these from uh drjays.com too I think these was like 30 bucks LRG makes good clothes see I had I got like the double uh, st stitching or the devil It's like double padded in the seat You know what I mean So it's like a little bit of cushion It's nicely made Well done um, Now to these I've I, I don't think I wore these ever They brand new They extra crispy And I think I bought these Solely because of this print It's like some skull And like lightning bolts but these, I got these from that Echo Outlet store. Yeah, I was mistaken in my uh, Vibrant Colors video. I said I only had that one Echo shirt. Well, these are Echo too. Yeah. But I think um, I bought these solely because of this print. And I liked it. So, and I, I don't think I wore them because I, I just found them. Like, so, I think I'm going to wear them. I just don't know what I'm, um, I'm going to put together with them. Because if you're going to do this, you got to, like, maybe I was thinking, like, maybe I can do this. I haven't wore this shirt yet. Like, this is a True Religion shirt. This had True Religion right there. So, I may be thinking I could do that. You see what I mean? That's on the back of it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe with a white shirt. I don't know. But I'm going to rock these, though. Even though they echo. You don't wear echo. Don't wear echo at all. Don't wear rock away. Don't wear academics. Don't wear none of that shit. <laughs> But since I found these, and there was like at the bottom of my closet in a bag, since I found these, I am going to wear these because they are brand new. And they dope. Like I said, I, I think I bought them solely because of that print. Like I probably was looking for the polo ones and I couldn't find them, so I got these. But anyway, that was a good pickup. I think I only paid like maybe 25 bucks for them. I don't know. Um, let's get into the polo shirts. I'm going to start down here. I got this shirt from Doug's underscore designer underscore deals. It's Polo Golf Big Pony. Uh, it's Pro Fit, which is basically like custom fit. It has the open championship patch right here with the um, little polo right here. It's the Big Pony on it. It's nothing on the sleeves. It's two-tone blue and red. It has U.S. open on the back with the 12, 2012. It's decent. It's a nice shirt. Um, I got this one from Wonderful Bobo. I mean, no, from Doug's Designer Deals. I got this one for like twenty bucks. It's a, uh, it's just a regular polo shirt. Has the orange, the green, the yellow, and the blue all the way down. There's nothing else on it. Like I said, it's a basic polo shirt. It's a baby pony on it. Uh, let's get into this. No, let's get into these. I got this one from Doug's Designer Deals. This is one of the more fancier ones. I've been had these and I never wore these yet either. Um, it has the big pony. It has like the Ralph Lauren crest right here. It's the tag. Custom fit. Um, it's a $98 shirt retail. I paid 25 bucks for this shirt. It has a three on the on the sleeve. It's decent. This one is the same. Um it doesn't have a crest on the chest though. That's a um, black shirt with the royal blue. 
it has like the red right here too and it has like a volt three on the sleeve same thing here it's a 98 bucks shirt i paid 25 bucks for that like i just hollered at them uh i was like yo shoot me a deal I, like a bundle deal i was like if i buy like five or six shirts from you at one time how much will you get me get them for he gave them to me all for like 25 dollars a piece so that was a good deal a lot of these sellers you can do better like that with these sellers if you do it like that especially if they got a store and they got a lot of stuff you can be like yo i'll get like six shirts from you how how much will you give me each shirt a piece you know what i'm saying and they'll look out for you so i got all those shirts like that basically they all came at um at once this one is just a, a regular basic one it was the gray with the blue baby pony on it there's nothing special to it it's just all gray little navy blue pony always wanted another one of those so i got that um these two are like 19 these are two are pre-owned these are from 1990 they're vintage um this one has the crest polo ralph lauren that's what i i've been looking for here lately and i'm not i'm gonna keep this seller right now i'm gonna let y'all know who he is in my next video but i got that's a couple more pieces that i'm gonna get from him uh like for instance he has a he has a basketball warm-up jersey it's like one of the ones that button up in the front it has polo ralph Lauren on the back with like the little dude on the back doing a layup it's dope I got to get it, and it's from like 1989, it's like polo, vintage polo, I got to get that, so that's why I got to keep this seller, because I'm about to get like seven, several more pieces from him, then I let him go, but I gave y'all Doug's designer deal, so run with Doug's, he got some dope pieces, so you know what I mean, this piece caught my eye solely because of the, uh, the jean collar on it, it's a collar shirt, it's white, navy blue with the red, he was like, it's pre-owned but it's like in brand new condition the filter that he used made the jean collar look darker than what it was on ebay when it came it was kind of like this but when i put it on it's okay it's kind of like i mean it's decent it looks good like when i put it when i tried it on but i was under the assumption like this this uh the collar was more of a, like a darker blue but it's a nice shirt uh, in my opinion, the older polo items are made better. Like, all polo is great quality, but in my opinion, these are like, this shirt is real nice, man. The jean collar on it is real nice. So, that's what I've been looking for here lately is like classic old school polo. Uh, that's what I've been getting into. I'm about to bless y'all on this one. Alright, pay attention. I paid 15 bucks for this shirt. Pre-owned, it's a McNeil. This is what you guys do. Like, this is what I do. I buy my I buy my winter stuff now. I buy my summer stuff in fall and, in fall and spring to, um winter time. That's how you get great deals. So this is a long sleeve McNeil shirt. You know how much I pay for this shirt? It's dope. Has like the it has the black small polo man on it. I paid $13 for this shirt. What you do is go to Ralph Lauren Polo, go to Casual Shirts under um, Refine, go to Casual Shirts, go to Button Up Shirts. All long sleeve shirts right now are like $15 and $20. I'm going to do a video and the rest of them come in. I ordered like I ordered like maybe 15 of them. Yeah, I ordered like 12, maybe 12 or 15. I'm not sure. I ordered like a lot, 15 maybe. This one got here super quick. I ordered them all at the same time. But I think whoever had this one sent, he was like maybe in the next city over. I don't know, in the next state over. But the other one should be here like by Saturday, maybe Monday. But I ordered a lot of these, all different colors, blue. They all plaid. They all got a little, uh, the baby uh, polo man on them. But they dope. So go to, um, go to casual shirts, go to button ups. Long sleeve or short sleeve. Right now the long sleeves are cheaper because it is 90 degrees outside. So I got like a, a gang of these coming and they super dope. Some McNeil's and some of them are uh, another name. Uh, I think it's like Bradley's or something. I don't know. There's like a slimmer cut. But I got a, a gang of these coming. I'm going to do a video when those come in. So yeah, do that man. You save a lot more money when you do that. 
when you buy your winter stuff, like now when it's extremely hot, see what I'm saying? And then in the winter time, that's when I be buying all my shorts and stuff. But unless I just come across a great deal, like five dollars for those Nike shirts, and I do that too immediately. Um, I, let's get into some of these shoes. These are the two shoes I'm gonna show y'all. I know I, um, I told y'all I was gonna start showing y'all some shoes every video. I decided to pull out these two. Just I got, I have, uh, I have the eggplants. I have the gym greens. I have the the pewters. I have the uh, the pearls, and I have the uh, the asteroids. Yeah, that's what they are. So I, I wanted to just show y'all these. In my opinion. Uh, foams are the most comfortable shoe on earth, tennis shoe wise, or gym shoe wise, whatever you call it, wherever you from. I had the, um, eggplants for a while. I had these for a grip, a long time. I had the gym green since release day also, maybe a couple years ago. Um, I prefer these over Jordans any day. Uh, foam posits, um, Air Force Ones. Y'all know how I am with the Air Force Ones. I love them. It was a dude. I got into it with a dude on Instagram. He was like, anybody who wear uh, Air Force Ones are basic. And I was like, dude, are you serious? Like, I don't know. I don't even know what made him make a comment like that. Because, like, people like my cousin and some of my homeboys, they be wearing, like, that Italian shit. The Balenciagas. And, uh stuff like that and they say dudes that wear Jordans is basic so you know what I mean like where does it stop like so yeah you know, I didn't really get into them without just like Air Force Ones is a classic shoe just like a shell to Adidas you know what I mean like you can't go wrong with an all white low top Air Force One period and you definitely can't go wrong with these these are dope so this is my shoes I wanted to show y'all uh, I think I'm about to drop that Cutter's Words of Wisdom series. It's going to be dope. I'm going to get my hair cut first because I'm actually going to be sitting in front of the camera. So these are pros, Jim Greens, and these are uh, pennies. Eggplants. They're dope. If you can go ahead and uh, hit eBay, you can pick up some. They super high on eBay. Like I said, I got these when they first dropped. You might be able to get some for like maybe $250, $300 on eBay right now. Um, I wanted to talk about um, the Jordans real quick. Y'all know how I am about the Jordans. I've been selling all the Jordans. I'm almost out. I'm, I really don't have any Jordans left. I got a few left, but not many. Um, listen, a lot of like I had a few people talking about I'm a Jordan brand hater or whatever, Tinker hater. Listen, my whole argument with Jordan brand is. The quality of the shoes are getting cheaper and cheaper, but they keep adding $10, $20 every six months to a year every time a new Jordan come out, if you notice. Let's use a shoe, for example, like um, the Flint 13s that recently came out, maybe like back in 2010, 2011. They charged $20 extra for those shoes, but they took away the 3M. You see what I mean? They took away what... Uh, charge them extra money like to put 3m in all the trues i guess it was going to be extra money for them you see what i'm saying so they took that out and they charged more for the shoe but people still bought it and i don't blame them like i guess jordan brand is like we can make shitty shoes people still gonna buy them anyway because they're hype beasts me i pay attention to this shit because i've been around for a minute and i've been i've been seeing like all these repops been coming out like I've been around for like a minute, so I've seen a lot of the shoes keep coming out back and forth, back and forth. You new young niggas, y'all don't know no better, so y'all don't know the difference. Like when I seen the 3M, I bought the recent ones, I sold them for the high also. I sold the motherfuckers for 275 I wore them like maybe 10 times, cleaned them up, was no creases in them. I got 250 for them, no 3M. That's crazy. You see what I mean? I would pay that much for the true flints with the 3M and the tumble leather. But that's all I'm saying, like, um, what really made me start selling out my collection, all the Jordans is, look, every time I went to the store to get some Jordans, it's always been like a problem. Like, they always kind of like b gradish. Like, on the back of the shoe, it might be like, uh, on one shoe, the sign would be like a little bit crooked, the 23, or 
the sole might be a little bit unglued like not unglued but like you could tell like it's not on the shoe right or something like that it was just always something wrong with the Jordans and then when you want to be like I want a different pair they'd be like no you have to take those pair because we're limited or so you got to run out the store you really want them so you got now you got to leave out the store with some glued up B Dre Jordans you see what I'm saying so that was my whole thing about the Jordan brand, man. I stopped messing with them. I just stopped buying them. I might get these tens that's about to drop, though, the blacks with the little red in them. But other than that, I just been selling them. I'm not really with that. I just run with whoever make great quality shoes like these. These are great. Feel like you're walking on clouds. And they last forever. Phone pots. I had these eggplants forever. And like the soles, like it's some little, it's not much yellowing at all. Like, that, you know, this is a good 250 I spent. Great 250. You know what I mean? You can always depend on those. That's why I say I don't fuck with the Jordan brand. They make cheap shoes now, period. So, um, uh, yeah. Slim Cutter. This was Cutter's Closet, episode 10. I made it to 10. I'm gonna um, we'll do another video soon, soon as my other shirts come in. I got some other stuff coming in also. Um, so I'm gonna do another video real soon. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my homies. They doing videos now. Stevie Stacks, he doing he doing the videos. Go check him out on his YouTube channel. Go check out um, Sod Tune on Instagram on YouTube. His name is uh, Mostly Shoe Reviews 100. Go check out my homie uh, Baylor Gang 412. Got Switch Productions. Shout out to Scoop. I think it's Scoop 208. He going super hard. So yeah, uh, this was my little uh, review. Cutters Closet Episode 10. Until I make another video, y'all. Get y'all money. Be safe out here. Holla.